This is a continuation of a previous video where I'm talking about Venice and how there's a profusion of Venice pictures. And I want to show you how easy it is for the painters to get the fundamental shape of the perspective. So fundamentally, I'm taking a piece of string with a pin and I'm going to look at where the lines shoot to, line up to. And I would suggest on this picture that the, vanish, the vanishing point or the focal point isn't actually on the canvas, it's off the canvas. So I'm going to stick this pin in the wall there. And then I'm going to see how it lines up. So, that's not quite right. Get go off a bit. Yeah. So what, you, what you've got, if I take it um, like that, you can see the, the, the in, in, entablature, to use a very nice word, the entablature on the building, highlighted in white marble, isn't the horizon, but it is a sort of horizon. It is the neutral, dead flat line. Beneath the horizon line, the height between the entablature, the soffit, that line, and the sea is short and it's growing. So it's gro the, the, the perspective is growing beneath the line and it's growing above the line. So I'm going to put the, the string here. That's the, that's the level. If I follow the water line, it's there. If I go up to the first floor, put that wrong sorry. Hooked on the frame. That's the middle line. That's that's the water line. If I go up to the the edge of the other floors. You'll see those lines match the string. Same here. Same here. Same on the top of the Doge's Palace. Same on the top of the Campanile. Same halfway down the Campanile. So there's a fan of lines of perspective. And it is a doggle. A child could do it, a monkey could do it. So I've always been slagging off Caminato because his paintings use a very steep perspective. So if you can imagine if this picture was half as wide, you could paint in the in the perspective much steeper. And Caminato uses a very steep perspective. And he often does both sides of the canal and he will turn the, the string around and do it on the other side. So you can see how easy to make. And when you put in the windows, they get closer and closer together the further away you are. And that's all it is. It is, it is a mechanical, mathematical way of drawing in the shape, which is physically, unarguably, visu visibly accurate. And you see streets of Paris where they have a boulevard and they have the roof, roof lines and the window sills. And again, they use this technique. So that takes some of the mystery away and it makes these painters accelerate their technique and it makes these painters able to produce lots of stunning pictures. That, that was what I wanted to show you, Venice, the use of perspective. Thank you.